without any conviction. wasted on developing film. Again, tries to come in, thwarted. Two more break points. The frustration is coming from Stoza because she's not playing badly here. She's actually seeing the ball well, she's ripping it well. Normally when she gets hold of the ball and plays at this level, normally she wins. Relentless from Williams. A couple of blips here and there, but then huge pressure on Stoza once more. Stoza's never hit so many half volleys from the baseline. Amazing, isn't it? Third break point of the game. Serve and forehand, it's such a favoured option for so many, but it's been so seldom that Stoza has been able to employ it in this match. Such has been the quality of the Williams return. Serena Williams, <laughs> Chilich, not before 40 minutes from now it can't start, and obviously whilst this is still on we're staying with this first, and the way Stoes is resisting here, this could go on for a while yet, new balls will come out, three all, second set. Playing, and that's why I think Stoes has suffered so much at the start of the season in Australia. Is that related to feel? 
as well, Sam. I mean, Stoza's not the best feel player, is she? Probably feel and nerve. Yeah. I think nerve. I, I'm not sure Stoza has a great nerve. And there's been lots of top players that don't have great nerve, but they become such great players that they overcome it. I think that's where David Taylor has taken Stoza. She's become such a good player that it doesn't matter anymore. You know, she doesn't get in that many tight situations. It'd be great to see her overcome her nerve thing back home, wouldn't it? Didn't win a match at yeah, home this I'm year. I'm not sure that's nerve. I think that's you know it doesn't help her nerve when she hasn't when she comes in off the off season and hasn't played competitively for a couple of months. That's really tricky. Um, but I think that's just expectation and pressure and attention. Mm. She doesn't. It just doesn't seem to. You know, it's just not for her. You have to hand it to Stoza, though, considering she came into this year's Australian Summer as the as the U.S. Open champion. It was all a bit of a big deal. It went. It couldn't have gone any worse. And she came you know, in a press conference and uh, in Melbourne and just sort of said, "Well, yeah, it's been absolutely terrible," and been very honest about it. Great press conference, and then and bounced back. I mean, she bounced back. That would knock a lot of players over for a long time. She made final of Doha first tournament after the Australian Open. Probably doesn't get enough credit to those of how tough she is because sometimes she, yes she does seem fragile. It's a different look about And Venus goes for the shovel. <laughs> and holds. It was a three four second set. But if you need to know how strong Stoza is, just watch that point and slide. Yet another half volley after the return. Bank holiday. I have to hand it to Stoza. I feel okay, she's only picked up five games in this match, but I don't feel she could have done any better out here. Mm. And we're all seeing. I think tactically she's got it right. She's executed most of the time. Second set. Fascinating from the moment they walked out on court. It remains. They didn't stay on very long. It's unbelievable. Have we had a Hawkeye in this match? No. It's unusual, isn't it? 
probably just well, here. Djokovic has won. Sorry, Sam, in the straight sets against Chilich. So Kerber and Williams will. Oh, Super slow swinger. And Williams puts even more pressure on Stoza. She's got to hold serve the Aussie. 